Hi everybody, welcome to session two of our new theme, The Extraordinary Gardener. Today we read the first part of our story um, and we thought about what a gardener was. Today I'm going to read the next part of our story and find out whether Joe's plants ever decided to grow. But something was happening. The seed began to grow and it grew and it grew and it grew. Then, one ordinary day, while Joe was busy daydreaming, something colourful caught his eye. He stepped outside and discovered that where he had planted the tiny seed now stood the most beautiful tree. Joe got to work at once. He learned to preen and prune and dig and sow. Every day he brought home new seeds. He started to grow all sorts of things. Before long, the single tree had become a tiny garden that grew bigger and bigger. And bigger. One by one, Joe's neighbours came to visit his beautiful garden. When Joe saw his new friend so happy, he had another idea. Joe decided to share his garden with people throughout the city. What different people can you see that Joe is sharing with? And slowly, over time, with the help of that first tiny seed, Joe's world grew from ordinary to extraordinary. What do you notice from this page all the way back to the beginning? What has changed in Joe's world? This was the start and this is how it ended. What makes this special? Today we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure around our school or if you're learning from home you might want to go to the park or into your gardens or some kind of outdoor space near where you live and we are going to see if we can be extraordinary gardeners and see if we can make a difference to our world. So Dougie and I are going to go on a little adventure into our field behind us and we're going to see if there's any weeds or if there's any litter that we can pick up to make our world a happier, better place. Off we go on our adventure. What will we find? What are we going to do, Dougie? We're going to pick one it and put it in our bin. Yeah, come on then. What have we been doing, Dougie? We've been catching some rubbish. Why have we been catching rubbish? That cut them left the traps. They left the traps? Yeah, we have rubbish. So where are we going to put the rubbish? In the bin at our... At our house? Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Dougie enjoyed collecting all the rubbish that we could find on the roads and in our field. He knew that collecting the rubbish and putting it in our recycling bin was the right thing to do. Next time Dougie goes outside, he said he wants to see if he can pull out any weeds from our garden to make sure that our garden looks happy and is safe for him to play in. I wonder around school if you will find any weeds to make our school a bit safer. <laughs>